Hello, what's up? What's happening? Welcome back to yet another Miles Knuckles 24 7 reduction. And today we have the subscriber dynasty here in NCAA 14. Now, remember, if you didn't make the team, you always have a chance to make a team in the offseason. But for today, we're taking on Worcester, Michigan. So let's get into it. <laughs> shouldn't be a surprise that I made myself the coach, you know what I mean? It's my channel, my team, I gotta be the coach. You guys are my players, you guys are my subs, so let's get this thing rocking and rolling, man. Zach Terrell's first pass is ugly, I could have caught that, he threw it to the sideline. That was a no-no for him, but on third down, he's gonna pick up the first down. I love, I love the defense, though. You saw all the blue jerseys around that receiver to bring him down, but unfortunately, they do pick up the first down, then we send an all-out blitz. And they pick up another first down. That pass is caught by Henry for a gain of 28. We sent everybody. We only have four people in coverage, but we couldn't get any pressure. That's a no-no. Anyways, going to drop back the pass. Going to find Corey Davis. And Corey Davis is a flat-out monster. He already has a couple of TDs on the year so far. This is our first game, but this is Western Michigan's second game of the season. So on second and five, I believe Brandon McGee brings him down in the flat. And that's going to set up third and two. But they go over the middle gonna find Boyden and that is going to be a touchdown for Western Michigan so now it's time for Logan and our offense to get something going to tie this ball game up nice play right there by Western Michigan but now it's time for Logan to complete a pass to Cameron Stein gets up field and takes a huge hit we need to get in the weight room that's all I'm saying we need to get in the weight room anyways Cameron Stein, he gets the K, weaves his way through Trevor for a nice four-yard gain. That's what I like to see. Now my man Logan over the middle to Amari Washington. First down, Bulldogs. Let's go, baby. So it's second and four. Again, we get some pressure in our face, but Logan throws a strike to Richard Hills, and he's going to pick up a first down. So now it's third and nine. Can we convert this third down? Under pressure is Logan, and down he goes. Our offensive line, led by Underwood, building, and of course my man Marler. Y'all need to step y'all game up, okay? We need a double team out there. We need to protect Logan. So anyways, we set up for a field goal. Seven to three is the score. Dropping back the pass. Going to find Boyden, who runs it hard over. Come on, Omar. Come on, baby. You got to hit that man hard. Anyways, Franklin up that guy. And Franklin has nowhere to go. Nothing but blue jerseys around him. Only going to pick up a gain of force. Now it's third and six. Can we get off the field? Terrell's looking. Terrell's throwing. Good coverage right there, but not good enough to defend that perfect pass to Corey Davis. He already has three catches for 27 yards. Then they're going to show they can do the read option. Terrell takes it himself. Finally gets brought down by Omar, but not until he picks up a big first down. Gash this. Look, look at that hole. That hole's so big, you could drive your mama's minivan right through it. Anyways, man, first and 10. Dropping back the pass. No, it's a draw play, and that draw play goes nowhere. As my man Foster, he gets up in there from his outside linebacker's position. So that's going to do it. For the first quarter play we're down in this one but there's plenty of time to get things working the right way so first game of school history so you know that we're just a tad bit nervous so terrell drop him at the pass and look at my man barker with a big time hit but that's going to be a catch and a first down for western michigan second and four going to the flat in the grave digger strikes what a hit by Graves. This is his graveyard, man. You don't throw it to his side, and you don't run the ball to his side. Right there, they threw it to his side, and the grave digger and put that man in his grave. Check him out. He is hurt. He's shaking up. He needs three people to pick him up off the ground. Anyways, on third and three, they find Corey Davis. That's not going to be enough to pick up the first down. So they, so they had to set up for a field goal, and now it is 10-3. to three. First and 10. They get the ball to Cameron Stein. Cameron Stein trying to find somewhere to run. Well, that run goes nowhere. Second and seven. Dropping back the pass, and L. Rod goes 
Bam. Y'all gotta protect Logan. Come on. Logan drops back the pass. And that could have been intercepted. But luckily for us, it hits the grass. So we punt the ball away. But now they have a chance to increase their lead. They're going to find Phillips. He gets brought down by Gladney. And now third and five. Terrell looking. Terrell over the middle. Going to find his man. West with a huge hit. But that's going to be a first down for West of Michigan. They keep on marching up and down the field. We do a zone blitz. So we drop Nita Shoe, our defense of, uh, of, of end. Like a J.J. Watt type. Because we play a 3-4-4-3 three, four, four, three mixture and stuff like that he's very athletic though for a big guy we drop him back in the coverage unfortunately it didn't work out right there McGee from his middle linebacker position gets up in the drops Franklin and now it's second and ten Terrell looking Terrell has all day to throw and he's gonna throw this one in between Graves and McGee and that's gonna be a touchdown for Corey Davis and Western Michigan so now we're down 17 to 3 we're down by 14 oh man Logan gotta get something going in on third and three we're gonna find Justin McPherson his first catch, our starting tight end, big time reception right there. Second and six, we go right back to him, picks up the first down through the air, gain of 13, move those chains for the Bulldogs. So the first and 10, two minutes ago, we're going to get the ball to Tristan Zabala. He gets up there, breaks a tackle, bubbling and stumbling his way down there for a first down. Big time run right there by Tristan. We're going to check out the replay. Now, Tristan, he's technically our backup running back. But you know me. I like using a two running back set, two running backs. You know, I got to have horses in the stable, baby. And it was going to go to him in the flat. He makes the catch, picks up another first down move. Those chains for the Bulldogs on second and five. We go back to him, but this time he forgot his hands on the bus. Like, come on, bro. That could have been a touchdown. Anyways, on third and five, we had to let that one out quick as we were getting pressure. So the quick pass results and only a, a couple on the game. So that's going to result in a field goal. So now the halftime score is 17 to six. The Oakland Tech Bulldogs are struggling in this one, but you know what? All we had to do is make some adjustments. First adjustment is protect Logan. Come on, offensive line. Give our star quarterback some time. Another thing that might help that out is by grounding and pounding. So in the second half, let's try to run this football just a little bit more and with a little bit more efficiency. And the defense, defense ain't doing a bad job. You've just been on the field a lot. So we're going to try to give you guys, you know, some uh, breaks out there by running the ball, keeping you guys off the field. But when we need a play from you guys, you guys need to step your game up. So with the Michigan, they start the second half with the football first. Then 10, they go to the flat. And that pass heads to the sideline. Second and 10, shotgun set, Terrell with time, has a pretty pocket, and throws this one out of bounds again. So we are one play away from forcing this team to go three and out on our first possession of the second half. Just about to pass, going to find Boyden, and he goes out of bounds. So that works out for us. Now we have Noel on the punt return, gets a block, gets up to the 40, cuts back at the 45, and gets dropped at about the 46, 47 yard line. So good job by the defense. Nice return right there. And now it's time to do what we do. We get the ball to Stein. Time to ground and pound. Big time gain right there. So look at him shake, rattling and rolling his way upfield for a nice game. Go right back to the same play. Another nice block by, by Danny Crossface. That's our big fullback getting into action with a couple of nice blocks. Now we're going to find Omari Washington. And just like that, we are inside the red zone of Western Michigan. Now we get the ball to Danny Crossface. Look at the big fullback bubbling and stumbling. Let's go. Gain of four. I love seeing the big fullback get the carry. Now we can go over the middle to John Easter. He finally gets his first catch. Gain of eight right there. That's going to set up first and go on second to go. We get the ball to Tristan who gets upfield. Touch. Damn. Oakland Tech for the first time in school history. Let's go, man. On the ensuing kickoff, we cannot give up a touchdown. So Valrath comes down there and lays the boomstick on him. That's our backup tight end. He's a special teams dynamo. I just had to show you guys that clip because I thought that was, a tremendous, that was a tremendous hit right there. Now, anyways, Corey Davis, he's killing us all day. I don't know how he's going to stop. I mean, next week, we play Oregon. If we can't stop Corey Davis, how are we going to stop those receivers up in Oregon? But anyways, man, they get the ball to, to Austin Gadu. He's going to pick up a first down. Right here, they find Corey Davis and Bowman. He's like, nah. Nah, coach, I'm going to take care of him. Lays the hit on him, forces the incompletion, but they get the ball to Franklin and West and Omar hit, man, hit hard. excuse me. They have to come in there for the tackle to combine on that stop. But anyways, right there, hit hard. Can't bring him down. No, hit hard. 
you gotta start hitting people hard, man. Okay, you got ran over in the first quarter. Now you're missing tackles. You, you need to step your game up, man. Anyways, that's just me trying to motivate y'all. Okay, I don't mean nothing. I'm just trying to motivate y'all to do better. Because right now, Western Michigan is just marching down the field. Come on, man. So it's still down by four. It's very important that we get off the field and at least hold him to a field goal. But Corey Davis is shaking up because he got tackled by who? He got tackled by Graves. This man's the grave digger. Every time he hits somebody, they coming out the game. I mean, I don't know what's going on. First and go get take a shot to the end zone and that pass hits the grass okay come on defense let's go second to go dropping back the pass again and that pass hits the grass good job Graves. look at him he got five tackles at the cornerback position we, 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 we might have to move him to safety i'm just saying anyways terrell goes down my man need a shoe let's go baby big time sack right there he's a beast man i'm telling you man this little jj watt that, 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 that's J.J. Watt Jr., man. So now we have Noel on the kick return again. He gets up to the 15, crosses the 20, makes the man miss. He's going to cut back at the third. <laughs> that man got some moves on him. Big time return right there. And now, of course, you have to recap what's been going on. And all it's been is Western Michigan going up and down the field. So we're down by seven. Let's go back to the ground game. Get some nice block and look at Cameron Stein running that thing hard for a gain of six. So after the six-yard gain in second and four, Logan drops back the pass. He's going to find his man Tristan, and that's going to be a gain of two. So on third and one, we get the ball right back to the fullback and cross face. It's going to cross the first down marker. Move those chains for the Bulldogs. Now Elrod goes down again. I'm telling y'all, they need to start protecting Logan, okay? He's the future. He is. I right, just protect him. I ain't going to put heck of much on it. And then look at that pass right there by Logan to John Easter coming up clutch. Made that catch while he got hit. Check out the replay. As soon as the ball gets there, the defender gets there. But he's going to pick up the first down. Nonetheless, then look at Stein takes a big time hit. He might not be the biggest running back, but he got a big heart. He has a big heart, man. They get the ball right back to Stein. Look at him weave through traffic, and he's going to fall forward. Why? Because he is all heart. That's what I'm talking about. We get the ball right back to him again. Up that guy. Trying to get his way into the end zone. Picks up again to seven. And now it's going to be third and two. Logan looking over the middle. Going to find Justin McPherson. And setting up first and goal. I formation on second and goal. And it's not Tebow time. But it's Logan time. He gets into the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs. And just like that, the game is tied up. We were down by 14. We made it, we cut it, went to 17 to six, and now this ball game is all tied up at 20 apiece. Terrell over the middle is gonna find his man Bowden, and he's gonna pick up a first down. Move those chains for Western Michigan. We're gonna send a blitz on third and six, and the blitz work as he had to rush that throw, and that pass hits the grass, incompletion, and we take right back over. We're inside our own five yard line. There's four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. We go up that gut with my man Stein move those chains second and 11 now we go to the air and look at that catch by john easter day let's go baby let's go all right now second and 12 after we lose two yards we're gonna drop back the pass going over to volrath he can't make the catch logan can't make the tackle he finally gets brought down check out the replay though logan he's up he's like i just cost my team the game i'm like you almost did but look at that you can see the ball was on target and for whatever reason they didn't allow us to get the catch and they gave the ball right back to western michigan no ea sports i'm not the right y'all letter about that because y'all cheating my boy stop cheating cheaters anyways man it's first and 10 when your defense to come up with a big time stop and guess who is there oh mar hit hard that's right, baby. I told you. I was just motivating you, and you came up with a big-time play. So it's second and ten. Terrell, look at it. Oh, Mar, you can't catch, though, man. It's all right. It's all right. We didn't give you a scholarship because you can catch. We gave you a scholarship because you can hit hard. Anyways, they give the ball again, and my man Victor is there to shut him down. Let's go. So they, they have to set up for a field goal. They will make the field goal, obviously, man. It's only like a, what, a 15-yard or 25-yard. The kick is up. Kick is good. Now it's time for Logan in this offense to do work. It is time for us to put down our legacy. So first, then, Tim, we're going to drop back the pass. We're going to find McPherson over the middle. Picks up a game of four. We have two minutes to work. Third and picks up a game of six. Excuse me. Now it's going to be third and four. Washington. 
huge catch. He got stick him on his hands. We saw that one hand grab. He was a flat out beast. Second and ten. We're gonna go to my man Stein who gets up field and Stein is gonna pick up again of nine. Stein for nine. I like it. Stein for nine. Now it's third and one. Logan gonna come up clutch and he finds Justin McPherson. He ain't the fastest dude and he ain't the biggest dude. He just got some mad. Oh my goodness. First and ten after we call a timeout. Jump at the pass. We're gonna find Hills. Gets a nice block right there. Move those chains. Let's go. Let's go. Bleed out my man Underwood. He was downfield, our big center. And he was gonna find Stein on first down and he's gonna pick up another gain of eight. Let's go. Beautiful job on that screen pass, Stein. Beautiful job. Second and two now. Logan over the middle. I'm telling you, he catches everything. John Easter Day is a beast, man. He catches everything. It doesn't matter if it's nighttime, daytime, he gonna catch it. It could be wet, it could be dry, it don't matter. He gonna catch it. Anyway, first thing, go now. Logan, look at Logan like, I'm gonna do it myself. Coach, I'm like, run the ball, Logan. Touchdown, Oakland Tech. Bulldogs, let's go. Big time play right there by Logan. Last chance for Western Michigan. We get pressure and down he goes. Sacked on the play and we're gonna walk out of here victorious. Yes, Woo -hoo. I was nervous there for a second, man. I was nervous there for a second. Now, if you don't know, we are in the Pac-12, so next week, we have Oregon, I believe, maybe the week after or two weeks after we have USC. They both played today and this and during this week, and they both come in ranked in the top five. But UCLA is in the top five. A lot of other teams in the Pac-12 are ranked, so it should be a fantastic start of the series. Should have some big-time opponents. Western Michigan is not the best opponent, but they gave us a heck of a fight. Hopefully, we can step our game up and play better next week. But you know what? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of y'all days are the best of y'all days. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hi, sis.